Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grover Games. The last episode we got a bunch of contract work done. In fact, we got, I think we made close to $20,000 out of all that contract work, which is pretty, pretty dang good, especially with most of it being cultivating work. Um, this morning, the first thing I did, decided to check, see if the bigger fertilizer contracts were out there. Unfortunately, Someone else picked them all up, so I decided to pick up what we can here. So the first thing we're going to do is... I think I'm going to unfold the this carol here. We're going to park it off near the power washer so we can give it a good bath. Didn't wash it last fall. And we... It, I feel like it kind of earned it, especially after last episode. I, I get, We got a lot of work done with it, so we're just going to set it off in the grass here for now. And hook that. We're gonna get our fertilizer spreader hooked up this morning. Because last night I noticed it was kinda damaged. Um get that lime put away. Put underneath some cover. Tired of looking having it sit outside. Been kinda busy with stuff, so got that put away there. But yeah, I feel like we're doing pretty good. Um We're in the month of May now, and I think next month will be a busy month for us. I think we'll have a lot of our own harvesting going on. Which is always... I don't know, it's it's always exciting. Even when growing up on the farm, it's not... Not something that I really ever dread with harvest, I guess I could say. It was always just kind of exciting to reap what you sow, especially if the year's been going well. And I remember growing up, one of the sayings was like every... Out of every 10 years, you have a good year type thing, and that was an old farmer saying, I mean, and I can attest that's pretty true true for the most part, but not all year years are really bad years is the best way to put it, so let's get the maintenance done on that. Um, uh, might as well do the maintenance on that, too, because it needs it. Might as well do it on the drill, too. And I suppose we better repair that. I don't know if it actually does anything. But yeah, so let's... We gotta get our row cop tires back on again. Well, that way we're all set up to go. Oh. I've just been kind of leaving everything a mess lately. Even the cedars. Dirty. Not much I can do about the tractor right now. I I was so I think in last episode, by the way, just out of curiosity, I kind of wanted to see what's on sale yet. That was on sale last episode, but obviously we can't afford it. But I was thinking that if we keep getting as many contracts as we do, maybe instead of buying a new field right away, maybe I'll stockpile some income just in case a tractor goes on for sale. And that way... Oh, got some deer running through here. But as I was saying, if that piles some money and if a tractor goes on for sale, we could maybe cover a little bit more contract work. Like, if I could find... Because we don't really need a big tractor to do. Do fertilizing. So if something decent size comes up we could we could buy something a little bit smaller run the fertilizer spreader and even run the sprayer in that matter and if we got till like some few tillage contracts like the few I did we could we could grab hook this tractor up to the disc carol and go out and do some tillage or even pl some sewing for smaller fields, like even the smaller tractor could handle the drip, the little drill we got. It's just something I've been thinking about. I mean, do we really need a second tractor? I don't think so. But would it be beneficial for helping us get more contracts done in the long run? I think so. Especially after last episode, I feel like word's gonna start spreading around about all the work we did. The Last month for all the little farmers down to the south, southeast of us. And I know they were very appreciative of all the work we did. 
especially after the rotten year they were telling me they had last year, especially they kind of since they kind of get everything out, which nobody likes to have a year like that. But I don't know. Maybe I'll talk. To, maybe we'll find something used. Maybe we'll find a find stuff some older tractor that we can buy off a customer that's retiring or something or an older farmer that's retiring. Just something you gotta think about, so I think we're gonna head off, do these few contracts. Um, after we get these few done, I think we'll have to check back and see if anything else comes up, otherwise we might tidy up around the yard and it might be... Might, live, might call it an early month for us, because like I said, we did... We did got a lot of ground covered last, last time go around, which was... A pretty good feeling. I don't know why. Like I said, I never do very many cultivating contracts. They're just not super profitable. Profitable, but last the last session, I just don't know. I was just in the mood, and being in that area, we, like I said, we covered a lot of ground with that little Amazon disc carol. But yeah, we'll jump into a little bit of a time lapse here. I'm sure it won't be long, and we'll be right back. So as you can see, so as you can see, it's raining again. Um, got everything what I wanted washed up for now. I thought about pulling this out and washing it, but then I realized it won't be long before we're actually using this again. We're actually getting low on seeds, but I think there's some underneath the wing tube by the barn. Another thing I noticed after I washed the tractor, looks like the paint's feeling pretty good, but you know? This is our third year of using it, and it was already slightly used when we bought it, so... It's... it's gonna be happening, especially with us... with it being the... us a one-farm tractor for now. A one-tractor farm, I should say. Um... The only thing for sale is... I can afford is this trailer, but... Don't have a need for a grape trailer. We might invest in grapes someday, but for now... 
we're just better off with our row crop production. Um, other thing gotta do is collect the contracts we did. That might be it for this month. The only other thing that I was watching was the market for the beans. And they're still going up. I think... So it's 12.58, the highest we've seen it. Okay. I mean, must have, that must have been part of the update, because I know those numbers weren't there before. So I think... We'll speed up time a little bit here, because I don't think we're going to do anything else for the day. There's pretty much everyone's got their contract work set out, so we'll we'll wait a few hours and see what happens to the beans here quick. The gold crust seems to be the only one that is worth selling to. We'll give it till about, oh, I say 1500, which would be about three o'clock in the afternoon here. Kind of a cloudy gray day, but we got all our chores done around the farm. It's kind of a weird month, especially when you think about it, how busy we were the day before to how much we slowed down. And we're still doing pretty dang good on water. I forgot we did that a few episodes ago where we filled that up. Uh, we'll give it a little bit longer yet. Let's see what happens to the market. I think 1700 will go back to our normal six times speed. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, where was that? I should just really program a hotkey for that. But yeah, so we're at about. 30 grand right now. That's a nice little tractor. I know it's a vineyard slash. Yeah, basically a vineyard tractor. How much horsepower can. I do not think this thing can handle. Like, weight wise our sprayer and such otherwise i would actually consider that 15 grand for how much horsepower does that tractor get oh. 112 so that ain't too bad it's just i don't think it's gonna handle the sprayer and everything well so uh, first thing we gotta do since we took the beans down to the co-op all we gotta do now is uh, can I visit there? No. Do I have to drive all the way down there? Oh, wrong map. Wrong thing. There we go. So, let's get a train routed. Get our beans sold. Probably net us about, oh, I say another 12 grand, so we'll be at... Now, oh, I say, say forty-two thousand. I'm guessing when we get everything, so all the beans sold, and let's see the here. Our barley is going to be ready next month, and then after that, the next month, canola will be ready. I'm just really hoping that. We're gonna have enough barley to last us. I mean, wait. Uh, so then after, in July, we'll be able to do the field expansion I was talking about. So we're gonna close that gap there and probably get a little closer to the tree line and the pat walk path there. We'll make this one bigger field here. And I, part of me is thinking about getting the center driveway, getting rid of the center driveway here. It's kind of nice. Cause I, I just go out it a lot, but I'm not sure if it's really worth keeping. I know the one driveway, like right here, that's not showing. I want to kind of want to fill up because 
Every time you go through there, everything's dragging on the ground, and it's just really steep and awkward. And let's see. I wonder if any contracts came up during our time while we were waiting. Oh, it looks like pretty much everyone's got their work all covered this time around, which is kind of a weird thing to see. Oh, there's the train. And I expect it to be coming that way. Pop in here quick. Uh, can I fill that one back there? Yes, I can. Just need to fill one of them. We'll just fill that up quick. Cover close and get rid of this menu. Don't need it anymore. Yep. A little closer to 13 grand. That ain't bad. But I think this is a good point to call it a day and we'll go into the next month. Like I said, not, nothing, not a lot happening during the month of May, which is kind of weird. You figure there'd be a little more going on, but not this time around. So we'll just see, go to see you guys in the morning here. And here we are. We are in June now. I believe our wheat should be ready. I hope it is, because I think... Yeah, we're getting low on the feed for the chickens. And we got two racks of eggs now, so we're doing... Two racks of eggs. Let's just walk back through with the creek here. Oh, shoot. I... I forgot, we didn't get our barley planted until a little late, so it's not going to be ready till next month. Which is unfortunate for us. Um, shoot. I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet here. I really don't... Oh, it's $1,500 for a thousand liters. Chicken feed. Unfortunately, we're going to need it, so let's spend the morning picking that stuff up. And let's see. Uh, before we get too far, got a bunch of fertilizer contracts out there. A few spraying ones. Field 70. Well, we helped her a few years ago. Maybe we should go help her out again. I think we're going to end up borrow. Yeah, we're going to end up borrowing that. That's that's a lot of ground to cover. That'd be a lot of ground for us to cover with our little sprayer. And it looks like we'll pick up that one, too, as well. And I think that's all we'll pick up for spraying contracts today. Field 33. Where's that one at? Um. From Evelyn again, too. Um. I think we'll hold. Uh, yeah, we'll pick that up, too. We're going to need the money. I'm kind of surprised that, I guess I forgot, let me rephrase that, that. Nope, don't need to unfold that, need to unfold that. Trailer dropped. Kind of surprised, I shouldn't be, but I guess I am a little that. I was kind of expecting us to be ready to start combining our barley, but then, then I forgot. We planted it really last minute, so that it's not quite ready yet, but this really sucks that we don't have enough feed for our livestock. I I know we'll I know we probably could have barely limped it along into next month, but I don't want to take the chances. No reason to make the animals suffer. But the first thing we'll do since we're here, we'll load that up. 
buy a, we'll buy a few things of herbicide. Get the this Rubicon loaded. Never actually ran one before. I ne this is like the I never actually seen one either until the game this game here. The only thing that I can relate to a Rubicon would be a Haggy sprayer. Just because of the front mount boon. There's not too many front mount boon sprayers out there. Um, so let's get... Need... We're doing herbicide, right? Yep. Two. Let's get... Two of those. I was kind of concerned there when it said fertilizer cost. You might actually have to buy one more. Well, no, there. Not. We'll buy two more because I I know we'll get reimbursed for what we don't use, so it's not the end of the world type thing. Hermes says I should get. Well, let's. We got the first field across the road here, so let's just hop across there. And we'll see how, mu how much we'll. If we need to go back and pick up another one. Just such a massive machine for this little field. But yeah, we'll get some spraying contracts done here and then. Maybe pick up another fertilizing one or two. I know I got that one already, but we'll see how everything goes and goes from there. Go from there. We'll see you guys in a bit again. What 
pick up a guitar again Too much on your plate when you need to escape Every left thing will be better when I find a way Find a way What the Lord Find a way You can see, um, if you didn't notice when I was collecting the income from the con fertilizing contracts we did, I picked up a harvest contract for us for some barley. So I just sat, I was sitting there thinking about if I really wanted to do it, and I ultimately decided that it was probably in our best interest because whatever barley we will have left over from the contract, we'll be able to bring back and put directly into the silos. So. We'll, we'll be doing that after we, whatever we get extra we have with it. And I think that'll be the last contract for the day that we'll be doing. And then we'll probably hop into the next month. And I'm sure we'll be busy as can be with all our own harvest stuff. I know I should probably not be driving down the road with a head on, but it's fine. The people, if there's anyone behind us, they can just enjoy the view for a little bit. That, I don't see us doing too many harvest contracts with our own equipment right now, at least. 
most of the field most of our neighbors around us who ask for help have a lot bigger fields than than what this co little combine can handle well i guess it could handle it fine it's just that it just take forever to for for us to do do something like that and it's kind of nice once in a while to use more updated machinery especially with gps and such so like I said, I think this is where we'll wrap it up here. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Um, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can keep up to date on all the latest videos I'm sending out. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.